The New York Crystal Palace was an exhibition building constructed for the exhibition of the industry of all nations in New York City in 1853, which was under the presidency of the mayor Jacob Aaron Westervelt. The building stood in Reservoir Square. New York City's 1853 exhibition was held on a site behind the Croton Distributing Reservoir between 5th and 6th Avenues on 42nd Street in what is today's Bryant Park in the borough of Manhattan. The New York Crystal Palace was designed by George Carstensen and German architect Charles Gildermeister and was directly inspired by the Crystal Palace built in London's Hyde Park to house the Great Exhibition of 1851. The New York Crystal Palace had the shape of a Greek cross and was crowned by a dome 100 feet in diameter. Like the Crystal Palace of London, it was constructed from iron and glass. President Franklin Pierce spoke at the dedication on July the 14th, 1853. Theodore Sedgwick was a first president of the Crystal Palace Association. After a year, he was succeeded by Phineas T. Barnum, who put together a re-inauguration in May 1854, when Henry Ward Beecher and Elihu Burritt were the featured orators. This revived interest in the palace, but by the end of 1856, it was a dead property. The adjoining Latin Observatory, a wooden tower 315 feet high, allowed visitors to see into Queens to the east, Staten Island to the south, and New Jersey to the west. The tower, taller than the spire of Trinity Church at 290 feet, was the tallest structure in New York City from the time it was constructed in 1853 until it was shortened in 1855. The tower's base was 75 foot square, tapering to a top of 6 feet. It could handle up to 1,500 people at a time. The original specifications of the observatory called for a steam elevator to be installed to service all three levels. But that would have been unprecedented since the tallest elevator then in existence was only 75 feet high. The ascent was by stairs and was described as fatiguing, but it improves digestion. The Latting Observatory was an inspiration for the Eiffel Tower. It burned down in 1856. The New York Crystal Palace itself was destroyed by fire on October 5, 1858. When it burned, the American Institute Fair was being held there. The fire began in a lumber room on the side adjacent to 42nd Street. Within 15 minutes its dome fell, and in 25 minutes the entire structure had burned to the ground. No lives were lost, but the loss of property amounted to more than $350,000. This included the building, valued at $125,000, and exhibits some valuable statutory remaining from the World's Fair. Elisha Otis demonstrated the safety elevator which prevented the fall of a cab if the cable broke at the Crystal Palace in 1854 in a death-defying dramatic presentation. That year, another building directly inspired by London's Crystal Palace, the Glassplast in Munich, was inaugurated. If you like these videos and want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.